And before we conclude tonight, a few final thoughts. 11 years ago, I couldn't tell you what day, let alone month on the calendar that D-Day fell on. But because of one special man who was not on the beaches of Normandy, let alone even in World War II, I was introduced to a most amazing fraternity of men. Joe Clapper, a decorated veteran himself of the Korean War, he took it upon himself to agitate and demand quality care for veterans of all branches and ages in our region's VA hospitals. He illuminated abuses. He showed us how so many were being shortchanged, and he made us see these men not as anonymous seniors, but instead for the heroes they were and are. Without Joe, I never would have met the Normandy Six. I never would have been so privileged to accompany them on the return, and I would not have dedicated as much coverage as we have for the past decade to the plight of our veterans and their families. To Joe Clapper, I speak for many when I say thank you. Hopefully tonight, it was more than just a glorified reunion. Hopefully for those of you blessed to still have a living family member who was on those beaches 65 years ago, you will share another proud embrace. Hopefully for the rest of us, we will set aside time to remember a vanishing band of brothers who represent the very best of America. We leave you now with a tribute to those men who journeyed back to Normandy but are no longer with us today. Honor them tomorrow and never forget them. As far as the, uh, my vivid memory is coming in that early morning to jump into somewhere where I was a little apprehensive and anxious. And Were you scared? I was very scared. Yeah, I, I, I was scared, but I was scared that maybe I wouldn't do my job right, uh, which I wanted to do, and life depended on my job, and my buddies depended on me doing it right, and everything depended on, uh, and I think being scared too helped. That is my country. I wanted to go. When I got down to 39 White Old Street, I think the line was about three blocks long, about three across. They'll never see that again. I jumped off the ramp and I was about waist deep in uh, not too uh, friendly water. Very colorful. And I turned around and saw one of my men standing on the end of the ramp. I thought he was afraid, but he's carrying 21 pounds of TNT and I motion for him to come. He stepped on down into the shell hole and I had to go back and pull him out. And that's one thing we were taught not to waste time to pick up a wounded or what have you because you have a job to do and you don't want to get yourself in the same position. But we made it up to the beach.